dear Gemini, welcome. Woo. Hope all is blessed in your world. I thank you for your love and support each and every week. Your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares that all helped grow this channel. My name is Melissa and I'm coming back with a special spread. I think this is going to be the new spread um, future forward, y'all. But don't worry, you'll always get your twice weeklies and you'll have a different spread each time. Okay, so I'm going to run with this for the normal spread. And then my love stories on Wednesdays for all signs, dear Gemini, will be my traditional Celtic cross message. Today, we're going to capture the energies of... Ooh, not ready thank you holy spirit <laughs> although i did pre-shuffle all off camera i always have to feel it <clears throat> thank you holy spirit on behalf of dear gemini on behalf of dear gemini thank you holy spirit all right <clears throat> this is gonna be a you versus them type of ordeal Divine Masculine, this is the energy they're experiencing right now. Now, Divine Masculine could be male or female. Divine Feminine could be male or female, if you didn't know already. This is the energy Divine Feminine is experiencing right now. This is how Divine Masculine views the feminine right now. This is how Divine Feminine views her masculine. <clears throat> this is going to be how the relationship uh, seems to, to the individual. So how does divine masculine feel about the actual connection, the bond that you share divine feminine? <clears throat> how do you feel about the relationship? How do you view the connection? This is going to be how divine masculine wants to express himself to you for the rest of the month of May. This is going to be how divine feminine wants to express herself to the masculine so this could be about somebody past present or future you all just capturing energy please use your own intuition during the reading this will be the challenge that needs to be faced in order for reunion to be had okay challenges for div both divine masculine and feminine and alas, we have, what is the Divine Masculine hoping for? What is he hoping to see by the end of May 2020? What is Divine Feminine hoping for by the end of May 2020? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the message on behalf of dear Gemini. This card, dear Gemini, will be the outcome of the journey. And this card, dear Gemini, Queen of Wands. We're going to read this a bit later on in the spread. Overall outcome, Queen of Wands, could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, could also have this placement in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You or your beloved. Oh, dear Gemini, here we are. So Queen of Wands as overall energy says there's a lot of passion here. There's, um, there's deep feels. It may not be pre at the present moment, but th this pairing has the potential to really get intense whenever there is <laughs> to, um, a coming together okay oh dear gemini energy experienced at the moment tree of life this is beautiful there's a rejuvenation this is like a dna molecule okay the tree of life is hebrew and it really is the life source of all creation. That's what it symbolizes. So right now, the present energy of our divine masculine, dear Gemini, <clears throat> is a rebirth, a rejuvenation, a feeling of necessity, okay? A feeling um, purposeful. This is divine purpose here. Divine feminine, how is she feeling right now? Three of wands. Aries energy, like literally success is coming in. There's a ship sailing in her way. Success in terms of this divine masculine coming towards her. Okay, maybe she's been waiting for some time, it appears, but she does see that ship coming to dock. So she will not be waiting much longer. Okay, <clears throat> that is the shared energy between you both. Now, how does Divine Masculine view the Divine Feminine right now? <clears throat> nine of coins, nine of pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, solid. Like this 
this beautiful young lady is literally building a strong, solid foundation. There's success behind this individual. In specific, this is Virgo energy with the nine of pentacles. Oh, dear Gemini. How is the divine feminine viewing the divine masculine right now? Six of cups. Like this is past friendship. This is past adoration. This is past romance. Um, not past in, in the sense of it may not be happening now, but past in the sense of you've known each other for a long time. Divine Feminine views the Divine Masculine as someone that she can lean on, a partner, a true friend. Oh dear Gemini, what does Divine Masculine want? I'm sorry, how does he view the connection? How does he view the connection? Okay, uh, the bond that you two share, dear Gemini. Well, it's eight of wands, which means for me in a love tower reading that there's an acquisition. There's a <clears throat> there's a, a will to, to continue here. Divine Masculine views the bond as it's not over yet. Okay, this is just midway. Maybe you've gone through the ringer with this person. Maybe it's been great. Maybe there's been no problems. But not, whatever it is, there's more to do. There's more places to go. Those wands are on their way. Okay, they haven't landed. You see, they're flying with the doves. There's peace here as well. Doves symbolize peace. Okay, so how they view the connection, it's in a peaceful place and it's still progressing. Oh, dear Gemini, how does divine feminine view the connection? It's a burden. It's been a burden for some time. You are matching each other with the wands. Just want to clarify, eight of wands is Sagittarius energy. And the... Ten of Wands. This is Leo energy. No, Sagittarian energy. I'm bugging. Please excuse me, dear Gemini. So they're both Sagittarian energy. There, there's, there's more to do. There's lots to do. Divine Feminine views the connection as it's, it's like wearing on her. <laughs> okay, and I use the term her loosely, y'all. But whoever Divine Feminine is, oh, dear Gemini, uh, this connection is sometimes it feels burdensome. Um, but I feel like with the Divine Masculine energy, you know, being able to take this relationship places, you know, being able to take the connection far. The Divine Masculine is indeed actually relieving the tension, relieving the burden from the Divine Feminine. Whereas she's carrying 10 wands on her back. He is flying eight wands, you know, into the sky. It's it's not on his back. You, you know what I'm saying? So I'm sorry if I sound kooky. I'm an airy sun and rising, y'all. <laughs> but essentially, divine masculine and feminine are matching each other's energy. And I feel like divine masculine can relieve or alleviate the burden for the divine feminine at this time. Okay. And is in active pursuit of doing so either consciously or subconsciously. Let's get more. Divine Masculine, what is he wishing to say to the Divine Feminine for the month of May? Nine of Wands. I'm tired. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Oh, dear Gemini. The wounded warrior. There's an exhaustion feeling here. Wow, I love how I see the eight and a more Sagittarius. Dear Gemini, you could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay, doesn't have to be, just saying. Um, but literally, dear Gemini, the eight to the nine. So they are carrying this connection, this bond that you have. They still have it deep down within their, their, their essence and being, whether you're together or apart. I feel like this match, you are energetically linked to one another. The nine of wands is what the divine masculine wants to say to you. So he's saying that he's weary, but he's still here. Okay. He's tired. Maybe you guys go around and around and around, you know, like, um, Ooh, that song. I really don't know what you came in for. Round and around we go. I'm so sorry that I did that to your ears, but I love singing. Oh, next life, I want to be Mariah Carey status. Anywho, oh, dear Gemini, the nine of wands, right? It's like 
I'm still present because I'm still fighting for this. I'm still connected to this, but I'm tired of this, okay? It's a feeling of weariness. That's what he wants to express to you in May. Oh dear, Gemini, the divine feminine wants to express eight of cups. <gasps> potentially walking away from the emotional depths of the union. So Divine Feminine, that's walking away from cups of love, but that's still having many cups of love in abundance, okay? So you're walking away with cups of love, but you still have that cup of love in your hand. And the Divine Feminine is journeying upwards into the ethers. Look, into the universe. You see the moon there or the, or Earth, whatever planet. You know what I'm saying? This is like carrying the torch of love, still carrying that cup for the Divine Masculine, but perhaps not so much uh, deep feels of emotion here pertaining like um, b being in love. I feel like, dear Gemini, the Divine Feminine in this situation is just they love you but they're not in love with you and it keeps you you all seem to keep you know borderlining this confusing energy because you know what it is dear gemini it's a very very passionate pair so like it is true love it is true love but you know it's it's just it's passionate it's it feels twin flame indicative i'm just going to flat out say that okay um, but there is definitely, you saw that divine feminine viewed the relationship as very familial. The six of cups is somebody you grew up with literally. Okay. So again, I'm sensing two people who are all about each other, all about each other, but may, may not be about each other in, in the same exact ways, but literally both are loyal and faithful to the connection. Oh, dear Gemini, I hope it makes sense. Reach out to me for your personal readings. This is a new spread, you all. You see it, and I hope you like it. And, um, you know, feel free to leave me your feedback in the comment section below. Moving on, we have the challenge that Divine Masculine will need to face in order to reunite with the Divine Feminine. Five of Wands. Look at that, more fire. Lots of you could be dealing with Leos, Sagittariuses. Aries, lots of fire on the table, dear Gemini. And the five of wands is something that you would have to get over. The five of wands, you see what's happening in this card, depicted as a battle. It's a literal fighting off of people. There are people that divine masculine needs to ward off in order to get to the divine feminine. There are people who do not want the divine masculine to be near the divine feminine. And it's very clear and present energies with the five of wands here. You see the battle that's happening. Also, if it has little to do with a group of people and other people, this is an internal conflict. This is the divine masculine fighting himself. Could be either or. Oh, dear Gemini, divine feminine, what will she need to face in order to reunite with her divine masculine? What challenge does divine feminine need to face? Temperance. Now, temperance means a, a super, super patience. It's patience on, on 10, on the, t I'm sorry, <laughs> patience to the 10th power. Okay. So like temper, but you see there's love here an angel bestowing the blessings of enduring. This is a long lasting, enduring love. This is pragma. I want you guys to look it up. Literally, it's um, one of the eight types of love, according to Greek mythology, and it's spelled P-R-A-G-M-A. -A. Oh dear Gemini, this is like pragmatic love on behalf of divine feminine, whereas she's always willing, no matter how burdensome it feels at times she's always present because it's meant to be it's in divine order here there's an angel bearing the gift of enduring for this divine masculine for this relationship so in order to reunite with the divine masculine if that was the divine feminine's wish she would then need to just have that endurance continue to wait continue to be positive continue to be loving dear Gemini. And then we have, what is the divine masculine hoping for by the end of May, 2020? Woo! Judgment. And here we go. Confirming for me, it's, it's, it's likely a twin flame spread. Judgment for me appears when it's talking about twins. Really, um, the judgment card is just to get their just due. By the end of May, 2020, 
again, remember, the divine masculine is the wounded warrior in all of this. Tired of it, actually, okay? I feel like, again, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of loyalty and faithfulness between these two. But it gets overbearing because it gets conflicting at times. So the nine of wands, for whatever reasons, um, you know, you guys just can't always be on the same page. That's really what this is. You know, that, that's that energy. You're not, you can't, you can't. It's like there's literally a block. You cannot be on the same page. Perhaps someone's married. Perhaps you're both married. Perhaps, you know, someone moved away. Like, perhaps, whatever the case, dear Gemini. Oh, dear Gemini. But judgment as the hope of the divine masculine means to me they just want whatever, uh, uh, the, you know, whatever final outcome to transpire, like they're ready for it. You know, they're, they're tired of this and they just want to make sense of it. And so judgment is like that final decision, that gavel, that just boom. And, you know, the court decides this. They want to know where this relationship is going. What's the purpose? Why is divine feminine, you know, on my mind constant? X, Y, Z. Oh, Gemini. And the divine feminine, what is she hoping for by the end of May 2020? <gasps> oh, my God. She's literally hoping for dear Gemini. Oh, Gemini. This is the lover's card. Oh, come on. This is really special. And I really dig this spread. And I thank you, Holy Spirit. And I thank you all for watching the lovers, dear Gemini. I love when you all pull your same freaking tarot card. There's 78, okay? This spread consists of eight out of 78. And look, <laughs> you got the lovers. So Divine Feminine, by the end of May, is hoping for definite uh, a, a reuniting of sorts, okay? That the lovers can come together once more. And again, I sensed there was a feeling of, you know, not being able to come together for whatever reasons. But dear Gemini, you do want union with this person, whomever you're thinking about. And I hope that you get it. Yes, my love. Okay, it's right there. Oh, dear Gemini, as promised, what is the actual final outcome, thank you, Holy Spirit, of this journey? Woo! Now the wands cannot be denied. You see it. Ace of Wands, definitely dealing with Aries, Leos, Sagittarius, dear Gemini. In some, somebody's chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, baby. But I'm going to let you know, the Ace of Wands, the Ace is what? The starter, you guys know. And it's a fresh, passionate start. So that is going to be... Oh my God, look at this. I just noticed this shit. Come on now. Come on now. Literally wands everywhere. You just wands doubt. <laughs> you just fire element out, dear Gemini. And um, so the Ace of Wands indicates a fresh start. That is the overall outcome of your journey. Do be blessed. I hope you are happy together, even in friendship, if that's all this is. But it is deeply loyal. <laughs> Queen of Wands overall energy again, coming back to the passionate feels of this union. I wish you all the best of times in May 2020 and forever. Be blessed. Peace.